we we've been talking or we've been hearing as well this this two terms migration and merge um so i would like I, i would like to yeah to ask you to try to clarify a little bit it seems like migration is the first step and merge will be the ultimate step in this uh, whole process but can you cl clarify a little bit about that absolutely so um that's that's actually a really great question because i know there has been a little bit of confusion uh in the community around it so i'm glad you asked um so the infrastructure merge itself is what we did um as product group right microsoft did um to bring in the solution uh from the standalone application onto the finance platform um The customer migration is what we're referring to as lift and shift migration. Mm -hmm. So this is where uh, we provide that automated tooling um, that allows you to use um, LCS. This is through LCS, uh, Lifecycle Services, mm -hmm. um, that allows you to migrate your standalone application onto finance, all your database, all your uh workflows and your personalizations and security roles and all of that um gets automatically um uh brought into the finance uh in an empty environment yeah yeah <laughs> uh so that is your customer migration um merge itself um is an optional step the customer merge um it is not required so if This is more for customers that have uh, finance or project operations and other applications that they're using. Mm -hmm. um, if they want to bring all of that with HR into one environment, that is where the merge happens, if that is something that the organization desires. Um, so we are not requiring um, for customers to merge. Um, if they wish to keep the environment separate for human resources, um and you know other applications that it absolutely at their discretion 